Hello there, YouTubers. This is Mo, and this is Blue Pixie. And guess what? She's dressed up like a vampire. You know why? Because we were talking about who was the best vampires on television and in the movies and all that. So we decided to do a best vampires video. Okay. I've got on my darkest lipstick. It's my brand new one. It's called Divine Wine. If you like it, let me know and I'll tell you where I got it. This is Blue Pixie and she's got on her dark, sinister Black. looking lipstick. Black. It's called Black Midnight. You can <clears throat> get it off Amazon. It's black like her heart. She's part vampire and doesn't even know it. Oh yeah, five days out of the week I'm a vampire. <laughs> five days out of the week. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're going to start off with the guys. Who is your favorite male vampire, ladies? Let's get this ball rolling. Nicole? Blue Pixie. She has some famous ideas. Who's your favorite? You can't go wrong with Armand. Okay? <laughs> Antonio Banderas, man. I mean... And he is from the Ooh. Vampire Chronicles, and we can get you a link to Ann Rice's page because that <laughs> woman is awesome. We collect all of her books, and yeah. we've read them all, and Armand is definitely one of the best. Mm -hmm. But I must say, I beg to argue with that. I would have to say Brad Pitt is mine. <laughs> Now, see, you're getting into territory there because Tom Cruise be oh. still my heart. Tom Cruise. Lestat. But there is another Lestat <clears throat> that was played by Stuart Townsend. Oh, yes, yes. Queen of the Damned. Yes. You cannot beat Queen of the Damned. Stuart Townsend, excellent, excellent, oh my gosh. Uh, there are a couple of famous <clears throat> male roles in Queen of the Damned, if I'm right. There's uh, Vincent Perez, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a good looking He's one. He's a good one. For dead men, have you ever noticed how fine they look for yeah, dead men? Yeah, no kidding. Wow. <laughs> Makes you rethink the whole uh, <laughs> yeah. zombie thing. <laughs> Makes you rethink the whole thing. Okay, what about... I, I bet you guys haven't thought of this one. Gary Oldman. Remember him? He played in the movie, the real one, Dracula. Written by Bram Stoker. Oh, yeah. Awesome dude. Yeah. I'm telling you, good looking. Even when he was ugly, he was fine. <laughs> Except for when he turned into rats. Cause, you know, yeah, I didn't that's... care for that one. But the wolf I could go for. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> okay, what about all the gorgeous vampires in Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Oh my gosh. Oh man, David Boras. Oh, Call me. Yeah. Call me. Because I want your number, man. You're good looking. Oh, what about Spike? <laughs> blonde hair. Oh, baby Spike. Ooh, he is fine, hair. fine, and still good looking today. Oh, yeah. Did you know that you can visit all of these people on Twitter? I'm telling you, they're of, very nice. And some of them will message you back. Um, <coughs> yes, very, they will. A very sweet lady who played Spike's lover. Mm -hmm. Y'all may know her. She played Juliet. She's, she is so um, fine. What's, what's her, her name? Mm, Juliet Lando. Yeah. Yes, that's her name. But her um, her actress's her, name was something else. Her character was Drew. It was Drusilla. Yeah, Drusilla. Yeah. Drusilla. Drusilla. Fabulous. Fabulous. Amazing actress. Now that was a lady vampire. Oh yeah. How many other lady vampires do we know? Anybody? We know mm. Claudia. Oh, Claudia. Now she was on. The Vampire, Interview with the Vampire, mm -hmm. I believe it was. She was a child Fabulous. She was a child vampire. Fabulous. It was, it, was, oh. it was against the rules to make one so young. Uh-huh, but she was an excellent actress. Even at that young age, she mm -hmm. was excellent. 
That was Christian <coughs> Steve. No, who was that? That was. Oh my gosh, who was it? Who was it? The same girl who played in Spider Man. <laughs> I cannot remember what her name is. She's so beautiful, though. Something Dunst? Was it, was it Dunst? Dunstan? Kristen? No, Kristen Dunst. Or... I don't know. I don't know. Can't remember her name. Let us know which one it was. Yeah. Maybe we can find out, though. Just give us a few minutes. How many other women do you know? Vampires. Women vampires. Mmm. Akasha. Oh, yeah. Let yeah. me tell you what. I want her headdress. Ooh, definitely. That headdress is beautiful. Let's see. Oh, what about the lad, the impaler? Ooh, he's scary. Yeah, but you know, Very in history, scary. he wasn't actually he wasn't actually a vampire. He was <clears throat> just a mass murderer. Yeah. He was a mass murderer, but everyone called him a vampire. Years after the historical studies and stuff, they started attributing um, vampire qualities to him yeah. because of the way that he killed his enemies. He put his enemies on stakes. Yeah, that was amazing stuff. Which did not kill them. Fun, uh, known fact, it did not kill them. Um, the, the weight that they held eventually killed them because they would they would slide further on to the stake okay what was her name what was her name there it is right there it's her right mm -hmm. um, doesn't give me her name it was Kirsten Dunst Kirsten? Yeah. Uh, go back. There's an easier way to figure that out. Go back? Yeah, just go back. Well, go to the other tab. And scroll up. Just type in Claudia. Oh. Yeah, there yeah. it is. Kristen Dunst. There it is. Yes. Kirsten. Yeah. Yes. That, um, Claudia... On Interview with the Vampire, that was Kirsten Dunst. That was when we she almost was had little. the last name. That was when she was very young. If you have not seen that movie, you have got to check that one out. It's very good. <clears throat> Another excellent uh, vampire movie was the one, um, 2012. Which one was that? Was that Dracula 2012? Uh, Dracula Untold. Or... Dracula and Toad? Yeah, you remember, you remember the guy who played in Lord of the Rings? He played, um, uh, oh, what was his name? The guy who shot the arrow at Smog. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know who that is. Okay, that guy played the vampire in Vampire Untold. Oh, God, I can't think of his real name for anything. Um. We can find out, though. It's the guy that played in the Lord of the Rings, the one that shot Smog with that big arrow. He is a fabulous vampire, and he played in um, Dracula 2000. I don't think it was called Dracula 2000. What was it called? Vampire Untold, wasn't it? Yeah, there he is. Yeah. There he is. Oh, yeah. Um, and what was his name? Now, you do know that we're not allowed to share the pictures with you because that would be copyright issues. So, we're just having a discussion about vampires and famous ones in the movies. That's all that is. But if you want <coughs> to actually um, see a vampire practitioner, is what they're called, um, Father Sebastian is on Facebook and you can look him up. He's a very sweet guy. He's not scary or creepy or weird. Um, but he does talk a little bit more about the culture of vampires. Oh, yeah, that's Father Sebastian. You can look him up. Um, she, she mentioned that he has a Facebook page. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um. There it is. There it is. The official. Luke Evans is his name. Yeah, Luke Evans. His name is Luke Evans, and he played in the oh, movie. Oh, man. 
Um, Dracula Untold. Yeah, Dracula Untold. Excellent movie. He Excellent movie. did a great job in that. And the thing about it is, is that it didn't really go into the, the whole detail of vampires. It was right. more of him just being a warrior. And how he was protecting his people and stuff, and how he, he kind of became a vampire-like person. But... It's just amazing. In order it, to save his family. It really goes into a lot of history in that movie. It's good. I love anything on history, of course. The soundtracks on some of these are really good. Um, if some of you have seen Queen of the Damned, then you'll know who Korn is. Korn did mm -hmm. almost all of the music for Queen of the Damned. Mm -hmm. That's a musical band, Korn. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they did a really good job with that. And um, <coughs> Lordy, she is a great artist, too. She did... Uh, a song for Vampire Untold, Everybody Rules, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Mm -hmm. She did a cover of that. There's another song like that, and somebody else sang it, and I don't know who sang it, but she did a wonderful cover um, for the intro to Dracula Untold. So. Excellent. Johnny Depp played Bartimus Collins. Oh, yeah, Johnny Depp. I didn't Depp. like Johnny Depp as a vampire. You didn't. It wasn't a serious role. It was nah. more of a goofy role. I think there's more potential there if he was to play an actual vampire. If he was a little more serious with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think he makes a better pirate than he does a vampire. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Now, we're not pirate. here to criticize. We love all vampires. Don't get us wrong. We prefer the real ones. No, we're just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she's not even she's not even ashamed <laughs> shameful she's not even ashamed <laughs> nope <laughs> have no shame have no shame <laughs> okay what about those female vampires have you thought of any have you thought of any really don't interest me that much I can't think of any I think the whole allure of vampires is the guy is like so inviting yeah, and he smells like chocolate, maybe, you know. <laughs> but who's, which vampire was that that smelled like chocolate? Was that Edward? Oh, I'm so sorry. Sparkly vampires. What? I do not like Edward. I'm so sorry. Yeah. He's cute, but I just don't like him. Um, I think it's the allurism of, of vampires and how they... They trick you into believing what they're saying or whatever and that they can do all these things for you when actually they're leaving, leading you down a dead-end road. Get it? That's not so great. <laughs> she doesn't like me very much. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's not funny. It's, it's not funny. Oh, well. <laughs> I still love vampires, okay? Just as long as you don't bite me. So, who is your favorite biter? And we're not talking about mosquitoes. Yeah, no. No. Let us know what you think about this video. And if you can think of any more famous female vampires, let us know. We'd like to talk about that, too. And hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out Blue Pixie's page. You Tell us what's going on. You won't see all of this on my page. I don't wear all of this. Um, this I can I can tell you this cape is an adult size cape. Um, it's very long. If I stand up, it it covers me about to my knees. Um, you can buy this off Amazon. I think I got it for like nineteen ninety nine. Um, the lipstick you can also buy off Amazon for like five dollars. Um, and mostly what's going on with my channel right now is I'm, I don't have any new videos today. I kind of have just some recent videos. Great. Um, sorry, the phone's ringing. I'll be right back. <laughs> um, Hello. So basically what's going on Hello. with my channel is not much. Just random videos, random vlogs. Uh, I'll be doing an unboxing video here soon so make sure you stick around for that because um, I'll be unboxing a lot of stuff that I'm getting from Amazon I'm getting about seven items which will be pretty cool so awesome that'll yes. be next month oh yeah so um but yeah that's that's all that's going on around my channel but okay. I'm off today I'm not doing videos on my channel today 
Don't forget that you can look up all the information that you need on very interesting movies about vampires. And anything like that, you can look it up on Google.com. Or just hit that Google search engine. It works every time. Or Bing. Yeah, you know or I mean? you can look it up on Bing as well. Yep. Um, we will do another video together soon. Thank you so much. And please hit the subscribe. And please visit Blue Pixie's page. And send us your comments. Thank you so much for watching us. Have a great day. And have a little more fun, okay? But don't get bit by a vampire. <laughs>